People are asking a lot these days about the break blocks. Bro, how do you trade the break block? We know about the we want to know about the break blocks and how to trade it. Please break it down for us. So here I am guys. Today we're gonna talk about the break blocks and why do they work and how to trade them. Okay guys, and before that, you're, if you're not subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you like the video and share with your friends. That's going to be a great support to our uh, YouTube channel. And make sure to subscribe to our Telegram channel, which is free and the link, uh, which is down below. There you will receive a daily um, content, uh, the daily signals for free, guys. So uh, let's begin, guys. Uh, about the break blocks, I have personally known uh, just a couple of years ago. They are not as prominent as, uh, as um, how to say, as well known as auto blocks. Uh, but most of the times, if you go to the charts and define uh, define your levels and try to define how do the auto blocks work you will uh notice that break blocks are even working even more and uh kind of like the auto blocks is uh is irreplaceable tool and it's a part of the game so having the knowledge about the break blocks and auto blocks you will be able to trade all the market conditions that we have over there so uh actually guys uh, there are a couple of um reasons for a break block to work and uh the break blocks guys work most of the times most of the times when we have a v-shaped recovery for example guys um let me write this down and we will do the kind of like um where that the list uh the first reason why the break block works is uh we should have a v-shape formation oh my god god guys it's a bit windy over here where i'm recording the video so i hope uh, it's not not like uh hearable for you the wind and it's not frustrating you okay guys uh we should have the v-shape formation and let me let me find you something yes uh very simple example over here guys um as you can see here guys um we broke to the downside we went up mitigate this auto block and then we are having a more a very strong break to the downside very strong to the uh, very strong break to the downside and over here we do have our v-shape formation and that v-shape formation which is uh, go and get uh, the last impulse to the uh, the last input the peak of that uh, v-shape formation which is this candle over here and as you can see here guys um it is worked out very very nice um the price just touched the 50 percent of that break block were here and then started uh falling to the downside so how uh this is how it works with v-shape formation and next thing that uh i personally trade that uh be the break blocks work with asian high and asian low uh when we define our asian high and asian low that is um for me the candle that has created the asian high or asian low and to the uh, and we have a breakout to that side that is considered to be our break block as asian high low candle oh my god it's not formation this is formation okay guys um look over here uh this is a real life example 
uh, 16th June and uh, we are having like a break to the downside on the euro USD and um, this is our break block guys this is our break block and and yeah um, as you can see we have uh, got the 50% of this break block and the price is perfectly reacting from the 50% of this break block and melting to the downside and we are catching uh, more than 10 R, uh, 10 risk to reward ratio uh, trade in one day uh, so uh, we should have the v-shape formation and asian high and uh, low candles this is uh, this is it and how to define uh, and how to define actually the break block guys uh, when we are having, just imagine guys, uh, when we are having the impulse pullback and impulse, where is our order block guys? Where is our order block? Uh, personally guys, uh, most of the people, they just draw the FIP levels, at least me, I'm doing like that. And they look below the 50%, like for example, if it's uh, an uptrend, they are looking for a discounted level, which is below the 50%. And most of the times at the extreme point, at the extreme point, we do have our uh, order block where we want to trade actually. And, uh, but the break block break block um of course i believe that all of you at some point of your life started trading according to the according to just a simple uh, uh retail, retail message so uh, so windy over here okay So um, the break block concepts, guys, it's like the uh, the resistance turning into the support. Or, for example, over here, guys, we did have a support over here. Like, uh, as you can see, if we just uh, draw a line over here, as you, you can see here, support, support. And the support is turning into the resistance. This is what break block is, guys. For example, over here, guys, this level, you see, the price, uh, this was like support over here, support over here, and support over here. And after that, it's breaking to the downside, guys. It's breaking to the downside, and the price is coming to that support, turning into the resistance, touching it, and then reversing to the downside. Yes, that might be, uh, that might sound to you a silly kind of like you are super uh super trader who came here to like rip the banks and steal their money and um just trade like a bank trade like institution that's all crap guys that's all crap uh the people uh smart money concepts gurus just call it like uh with their own names but uh everything like the uh, order blocks the break blocks they are all um was created on the basis of the old knowledge that already worked and that that had just uh that has only and like different names and that's all guys and right now you can see here guys uh the break block is actually um the resistance turning into the support or support turning into the resistance and if we have these um, examples, for example, uh, if I draw it uh, candle by candle, it's going to look like um, something like this. For example, let me make it um, red. And again, we need some blue candles oh my god and yeah right guys and over here uh this place this candle this high candle uh, is gonna be our break block and over here at the bottom we have our auto block so uh guys uh this is auto block and this is break block and um sometimes our 
order block works and sometimes the break block works and uh, these are two criterias at the top that I have written before these are two criterias for break block to work guys actually so if we have a v-shaped formation v-shaped recovery the break block is more highly likely to work if we have a breakout through the asian high uh, asian range like the high or low of the asian range is more likely to be our break block guys so actually guys uh we have a lot of examples um over here guys uh you would see if you just tested uh tested guys you would see that the, a lot of a lot of like uh things work as a break block guys uh and again uh an example over here guys as you can see here we do have a strong v-shaped formation you see strong uh bearish candles and after that we do have a strong bullish candles without any um retracement to the downside and uh we are not uh we are not touching the order block which is over here guys we are just touching the break block which is the resistance that turned into the support i am telling i'm just naming that the resistance tur turning into the support just to make it easy for you guys just to make it easy for you and understandable and as you can see guys um it works very very well i hope you like this video guys i'm not gonna make it very uh long and guys if you got some value from this hit the like button and share with your friends and make sure you're subscribed to our youtube channel and telegram channel as well i wish you all the best peace